Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the food court feature to your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to their overview page. Next under the edit test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the food court feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar, then click view all and search food court. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added food core feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click on the add restaurant button here and you'll be redirected to the restaurant management section. Here you will find all the restaurants listed once you start adding them. For your ease, a dummy test restaurant has been added. If you want, you can edit as per your needs. For now, let's add a new restaurant. Click on Add Restaurant and provide the required information. Once you are done adding the restaurant details, click on Save to continue. Now here you will see your added restaurant. Now click on this three dot icon to perform different actions. Let's now manage the menu for this restaurant. Click on Manage Menu and you'll be re redirected to the Category section. Please note you will need to add categories before you can start adding menus. Now click Add Category and provide the required details. Once done, click on Save and, and here you will see your added category. If you want, you can add subcategories under this category by clicking the number count here or from the action options. Similar to the way we added categories, you can add subcategories too. Once done, you will see your added subcategories in this section. Now let's add products. You can add products under a category or subcategory as per your needs. For now, let's add a product directly under a category. Click on the product option here and then click on the add product button to add products or menus. Once you are done adding the product, click on save to continue. Now here you will see the product has been added. You can check the details. Let's now go back to the restaurant management section. For the particular restaurant, you will see different options like manage menu, manage order, settings, import, export, and sales report. You can manage these options from here, or you can manage them from the side menu by selecting the particular restaurant. Now click on manage delivery boy in the side menu and you will see sub menus under it which include manage profiles, track delivery boy and delivery boys report. First is manage profiles. Here you will see all your added delivery boys listed. By default a dummy delivery boy has been added which you can edit as per your needs. Let's now add a new delivery boy. Click on this button here and provide the necessary details. Once you are done adding the delivery boy details, click on save. Here you will see your added delivery boy and details. Hover over the region here and click on the three dot icon to delete the delivery boy. Edit the delivery boy, change the status, and to send push notifications to the delivery boy. Now let's check out the track delivery boy section. This section lets you track the life status of the delivery boy. You can view and track the free, busy, and inactive delivery boys from here. Next is the Deliveries Boy Report section. The reports of all the delivery boys will be with the details including order ID, order purchase date, restaurant name, delivery boy's name, grand total of the order, payment method, and order status are displayed in this section. Now let's go ahead and move to the onto the Manage Orders. Under this the first section is order history. Here you will find all the orders that have been placed by the customers. You can click on the order ID link here to view the completed order details. Next is the track order section. All the orders that are ongoing, in transit, or complete will be vis visible in this section. You can easily track the life status of the order starting from the processing phase to the completion phase on the live dashboard. 
Next up is the abandoned order section. In this section, you will find all the abandoned orders and details and you can perform actions as per your needs. Now let's move ahead and check out the general settings for the food court feature. Please note settings are divided into restaurant level settings which can be managed by both the admin and restaurant owner and app level settings which can only be managed by the administrator. First let's check out configuration settings. From here you can select a particular restaurant to configure the settings for a particular restaurant or you can select the administrator option to configure global settings for all the restaurants added to the food court feature. Now here you will see two tabs, store information and payment details. Under store information, you can edit and update the general information and configure settings for the food court future. Once you are done configuring the settings, click on save to continue. Now click on the payment details tab. Here you can provide the delivery pickup information and also integrate different payment methods into the food court. Once you are done configuring the payment details, click on save. Coming to the language settings, under language settings, you will find all the alerts, text, and messages display on the food court feature. You can change the text as per your needs, and once done, click on save to continue. Next is the cuisine section. Here you will find all the predefined cuisines listed. Click the button here to add a new cuisine, enter the cuisine name, set the status, and click save cuisine to add a new cuisine. Now hover over the region here and click on the three that icon to edit cuisine, activate, deactivate cuisine, or delete the cuisine. Next up is coupons. In this section, you can add and manage coupons. Click on the add new coupon button here and provide the necessary details. Once you are done with the changes, click on save and your added coupon will be listed here. Now coming to the CMS page section. Here you can add terms and conditions and privacy policy for the food court future. Similarly, on the CMS page for Delivery Boy section, you can add terms and conditions, privacy policy, and prominent disclosure for the Delivery Boy app. The last option under Settings is App Icon Settings. From this section, you can customize the Delivery Boy and Restaurant App elements. Now, let's move on to the Import-Export section. From this section, you can import and export product listings, select a restaurant from the drop-down to Import-Export Product Listing, with the import option, you can add multiple products in a single go by uploading a CSV file. Also, you can directly export the created product listings in the CSV or Excel format. Next up is sales report. In this section, you can view the complete sales history of the orders you make. Come into the review section. Here you will find all the reviews posted by the users. You can view, activate, deactivate, and delete, delete re the reviews posted by the users. Now let's go back. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of the food court feature. Click on this color palette icon to change the feature style and color scheme. Explore the feature elements color and choose the right ones for you. The font size and indent. Choose to show or hide images from here. You from here you can enable in a back navigation button on the features header. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you are done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.